Hi my dear students How are you Did you enjoy the weekend Okay so today we are going to study the new chapter okay our first chapter is over today we are going to start the new chapter the name of the chapter is when lines join when lines join okay do you know what is lines let us look at some of the lines okay so all of you take take your textbook and take the first page of the chapter so my dear students this is the first page you can see some pictures in this page isn't it so these pictures are by malu and malu came with these pictures to the class so appu a student in the class looked at these pictures for some time and he is saying there is something common to all this there is something common to all this okay so the other friends are asking what is it what is it okay what is there in common in these pictures is there some similarities between these pictures is there some speciality okay so appu is saying in all these pictures there are things going upwards some straight up and others slanted okay appu is saying there are some things in the pictures that are going straight upward and slanted okay do you know what is slanted slant means cheriv okay so in these pictures you can see the first two pictures are some trees isn't it the second one is a seesaw and the third one is electric line isn't it so is there some speciality you yeah you can see in these two trees the first trees are straight isn't it it uh, the, the, those are straight straight trees and this one is slanted the cherinjirikkunna maro alle second picture la kaanunathu isn't it and you all know what is seesaw do you know what is seesaw okay so seesaw is also slanted and the last picture is electric line you can see the electric lines are straight isn't it in this picture the electric lines are straight okay so now you we will look at some of the lines okay now my dear students look at some of the figures okay these are some figures isn't it so every figure in this board you can see they are four sided they are four sided for example in this figure 1 2 3 4 four side is the isn't it in this figure 1 2 3 4 four side is the here 1 2 3 4 four side is the so in every figure here you can see there are four side four side isn't it so these figures in which four side is the these figures are called quadrilaterals okay quadrilaterals so any figure which is having four side is called quadrilaterals okay so now look at these figures look at the first one this is a quadrilateral isn't it so look at here there is a line which is straight upward which is straight upward isn't it look at this line this is slanted that line is slanted isn't it likewise in every figure you can see straight lines and slanted lines isn't it so in this figure you can see every lines are straight every lines are straight here this one is slanted 
but this is straight isn't it look at here this is slanted these two lines are slanted isn't it so in this figure there are some slanted lines and there are some straight lines so my dear students you can see a table in page number 21 okay so in this table there are three columns isn't it and in the first row you can see figure upright and slanted figure upright and slanted so there are eight figures one two three four five six seven eight eight figures are there so this is the numbers of the eight figures okay and in the first you can see upright and here slanted so look at the first example you can see in the in the column of upright in the case of first figure in the case of first figure you can see left line upright is left line and slanted is right line okay so here which is left this is left line this is upright this is upright and this is the right line this is slanted isn't it likewise the, in the second figure you can see this these two are straight upward isn't it so both are upward so in the slanted column there will be nothing okay so upright will be left line and right line okay in the third you can see this is the third figure in the third figure the left one is slanted so in the slanted column you will write left line okay and the right line is upright so here you will write upright likewise you want to do every columns using these figures okay you want to fill every columns using these eight figures okay so my dear students now you can see some figures in the board okay so these geometrical figures which are made up of lines are named according to their number of sides okay so in the first figure you can see there are four sides one two three four four sides are the we know that four sided figures are called quadrilateral so they are quadrilateral they are four sided okay now the figure which is having five side one two three four five it is having five side okay so the figures which are having five sides are called pentagon okay pentagon now the figure having six sides are called hexagon now the figures which are having seven sides are called septagon and the figures having eight sides are called octagon okay so these are some figures geometrical figures which are having different number of sides and they have different names isn't it so these figures are called polygons these are called polygons you can see polygons okay so the, you can see this picture in your textbook you can study that so my dear students we studied what are lines and slanted lines okay now i am going to show you some instruments okay do you have instrument box with you did you ever see instrument box okay so i you can see some instruments like this in your instrument box these are called set squares okay set squares okay these are called set squares so why do we use this set square we use this set square to get a straight line to get a straight line sometimes when we draw straight line it will not be straight 
there will be some slant isn't it so now you can see how to draw straight lines using set squares okay so you can see here this is a line this is a straight line and i am going to draw a straight line okay is this line a straight line no that is not a straight line there is some slant isn't it to avoid that we use set squares so for that i am going to put this set square like this i will put the set square like this and i will draw a line and i will draw a line now look this is straight we got a straight line so now the line is the line is straight isn't it this is how we use set squares to get a straight line and you can see there are two such set squares in your instrument box isn't it so both you can use both for drawing straight lines okay now my dear students i am going to show you how to draw a straight line okay so you can see here this is a straight line and there is a point here on the straight line isn't it now i want to draw a line like this a straight line like this on this line okay from this point so how will i draw that how will i draw that i will show you how to draw uh, a straight line okay so first of all you will put the set square on this line like this okay on this point like this and you will draw a straight line okay you will draw a straight line so this is how you will get a straight line now again suppose you want to draw a straight line here straight line from here so what will you do first of all you will extend this line you will extend this line like this so my dear students we extended the line okay now we are going to put the set square like this okay we will put the set square on this dotted line okay and we will put a set square straight on this dotted line and then we will again draw a line like this so now we got two straight lines on this line and we will last we will join these two lines we will join those two lines is it okay now okay now i will go i am going to show you uh, one example this is a question like this you can see some questions in your textbook you want to do those questions okay so before that i will show you so my dear one students example. this is an example draw a line 8 cm long from the right end point draw an upright line 4 cm high from the left end point draw an upright line 3 cm high join the top ends of these lines okay this is the question so first of all we want to draw a line 8 cm long so i am going to draw a line that is 8 cm long using a scale so this is my line that is 8 cm long okay now from the right end point draw an upright line 4 cm high so which is the right end this is the right end so from here from this point i want to draw a upright line 4 cm high okay so we i can't put the set square like this isn't it so i want to put set square like this so i will do i will extend this line isn't it okay now i want to draw a straight line upright 4 cm high from the 
uh, from the right end, isn't it? So I will put the set square here and I will draw a straight line. Okay. I, I draw a straight line, isn't it? And the length of that line should be 4 cm. So I will take the scale, I will measure the length as 4 cm using scale 1 to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 4 cm now and I will put a dot there. Okay. I will put a dot there. Again, the question is saying from the left end point draw an upright line 3 cm high. So this is the left end. So here I can put the set square directly. So I will put a set square here and I will draw a line. Now I got a straight line again and the height of that straight line should be 3 cm. So I will take the scale and I will measure 3 cm and I will put a dot there. Okay. So now I got this is 3 cm, this is 4 cm and this line was 8 cm. Isn't it? Now I want to join the top end of these lines. So this is how I join the top ends. These are my top ends from here and from here. So I will join these two. So I got a figure. Isn't it? The figure has four sides. So this figure is called a quadrilateral. Isn't it? Likewise, you want to do some problems. The questions are in your textbook. Okay. So please do that. So my dear students, this is for today. I hope this is very simple and you can learn this very easily. Okay. There are some questions in your textbook. You need to solve those questions. Those are very easy questions. Okay. And if you are having any doubt, you can contact me. So bye-bye. Take care. Stay safe.